Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. So it looks like we have entered the city hall of the town. We need to go talk to the sheriff who went upstairs, but let's go ahead and explore the rest of this area first. We've got a city seal and a water fountain. That was the only thing that I've been able to see. The inscription says, Pillotronics, the brain of our city. Pillotronics. That might be the business that's keeping the town afloat, kind of like oil field towns or coal towns. And I remember Boris, who was the person who died in the first episode, had that prototype bear that turned into a pillow, so that might have something to do with it. Check the water fountain. Wow, really? Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> that's provocative. Coroner and Sheriff. Nothing else here. Let's go ahead and try the coroner first. Howdy-ho! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. What? Welcome to the future, who? You... Oh, feet. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Yeah, we've got the Bloodtron 3000, the Fingertron 3000, and the Facetron 3000. That's kind of creepy having that that tagged foot in the foreground. Let's go ahead and ask the big question first. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas a who's in a pot a who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Fire? Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Wow, I haven't heard CompuServe in a long time. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Thanks. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Hmm. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. 
Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Oh man, that is so cool. That's the diagram that was in Dr. Fred's office in Maniac Mansion. We got a skeleton. There's going to be so many Easter eggs here. And so help me if Chuck ends up being a plant. And what is... Speck of dust. It's a speck of dust. It's my speck of dust. Fair enough. Lots of medical books there. I can't push that. Push and pull just in case. I can't pull that. I can't open that. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, talk to the Tron machines. The primary function of the Phase Tron 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. By your command. Okay. Where do I get- Oh! We do have a photograph of a dead body. Hold up! We've got that I with Reyes. I need to Reyes. stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Let's use photo of body. Okay. Talk to... Huh. Walk to Facetron. It's green. Oh, we need two. Th we need two things, don't we? That's what that light is for. Notebook. Reyes to do list. Find murder weapon. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Get Fingertron report. Find ID for the victim. Get Facetron report. Take a blood swab from the body, find suspicious item with blood on it, get Bloodtron report, put three reports in the Arresttron. Now he took good notes. The coroner seems nice enough. He should be helpful in solving this case as quickly as possible. The computing power of the Tron machines is impressive. I wonder why we've never heard of them before, if they could help in figuring out what happened during the old Pello factory fire. And that's the old notes. I'm kind of curious what Reyes has to do with a fire. Same thing for Reyes' to-do list. The coroner and sheriff are idiots. That's okay. I can work with idiots. They're easy to manipulate. The Tron machines are interesting. I'm glad Reyes was a little eager beaver and took notes. I wonder if they're connected to the reason, my, reason I'm here. Oh, I love the fact that you don't know a whole lot about the protagonists awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook Chewy Caramel Center Ugh. oh thought it was she'd say pretty brains it's a medical skeleton please return to Dr. Fred hey <laughs> oh I'm gonna love this it's empty it's empty there's a fingerprint kit here. Oh. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Oh, awesome. Well, I guess we'll have to find fingerprint tape somewhere. Can we actually look at these feet? Nope. Doesn't look like we can look at anything in the foreground, unfortunately. Well, let's head up to the sheriff, who I'm sure just conveniently showed up. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. Yeah. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, yeah, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Arenos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. 
I've got to say, does anyone ever leave like a half-eaten donut? I've never seen that before in real life, only in like TV shows. Let's go ahead and play along with this. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. That's not how that works. Oh, is that the wanted poster for the meteors? Or for the meteor from Maniac Mansion? Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Hmm. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Well, let's just work our way... Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Ooh. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Well, that's handy. Just a bunch of files. Now, that looks like the little kind of Bioshock thing that we saw at the beginning of the game with the flashing lights. It's the Police Tron 3000. Though. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? Yes! Awesome. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Ugh. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Oh, we got a vacuum tube. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's just like Bernard's radio. Can we... I might break the tube. Hmm. Breaker. Oh, I hate it when people do this. Is this thing on? Hmm. Breaker 1-9. Breaker. Breaker. Bandit, come back. Daisy. Daisy. Give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy. All for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Ugh. Attention, all units. See the woman. By the. Oh, this is like. Swinging a machete? Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. That's probably how we uh, are able to get someone arrested. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Ah. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. It's turned off. Oh, well, let's uh, use it. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Special announcement. Pizza meeting tonight. Find Chet for the secret code. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Ooh. 
Well, I like pizza. Open jail door. Fortunately, you don't close the door on yourself. That's good to know. Alright, I think we've seen enough here. Let's go ahead and switch over to Ray. Or Reyes, excuse me. And said to try out the diner. I think that's everything in here. Oh! The pigeons followed us. Oh! Hello? Were we behind the bushes there? No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. What fascinates me is how they're able to use the tools with the uh, pigeon arms there. Pigeons need a WC-67 tube. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Can we grab said Don't wrench? Don't touch oh. our wrench, Tron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Best not upset the pigeons. Oh, well, they got a, a plunger. I can't get past that water. Ah, okay. I see. Well then, if that is the case... Smart Buy Electronics. Available for rent. Closed forever. Sorry. Is there anything... other information? <laughs> it's dead, Jim! No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. Hmm... Gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. Nothing to do there. Safely first savings. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Fancy Nancy flowers, closed. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. Well, there's the diner. And looks like we actually have a path that we can walk up. Before we head into the diner, let's go ahead and check out the rest of this street. We've got Main Street, B Street, and No Street. Thimbleton, or Thimblecon 87. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Awesome. I like cons. Walk to door, trash can. Hmm. It's just a stack of empty boxes. Oh! Oh no, is Reyes dead? Oh crap! I'm, I'm coming, Reyes. She is too far away. We're rushing, trying to find him. Oh man! That looks like Reyes's notebook. I hope he went back to the home office. Pretty disgusting. Can we? Okay, we didn't find a corpse. That's good, at least. It's an empty box. Okay. Pretty disgusting. Can we open the trash can? I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. Pigeons need a wrench. Whoa, wait, wait. Was there anything else we needed to look at? No? It's the back door to the diner. What a mess. It's locked. Well, that is disturbing. Can we switch back? No, we can't. You guys, um, 
Seen a body? Talk to Sandy. Sandy. Oh my god, is that Sandy and Dave? That, oh, I believe, I hope that's Sandy and Dave. That's the uh, person you had to save in Maniac Mansion, and that was the main character. Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. Can we pick up a hot dog? Welcome to the S&D Diner. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Uh-oh. Hopefully this doesn't kill her. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I... Uh, gotta go. We're about to get hit, aren't we? I feel better now. That's weird. You know what? I bet if we were back there in puking, probably would have got hit too. I'll talk to them here in a sec. Was there anything else that we need? It's turned off. Oh. Uh? We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The feds are watching us. Make no mistake about it. The only way to protect yourself is to fight back. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Fair enough. An old cash register. I don't think they'd like that. Probably not. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So... What can I do for you, honey? If that's the S and D, it probably is Sandy and Dave, isn't it? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Yes. What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird of Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? Ouch. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. <laughs> Sounds legit. How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Oh, flashback time? Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Holy crap, okay. 
It's like a combination of Krusty the Crow or <laughs> Krusty the Clown, Sideshow Bob, and Ronald McDonald. Ransom the bleeping clowns to bleeping do list. So it looks like this is an interactive flashback, guys. Um, I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here. I'm actually really worried about what happened to Reyes. Hopefully, we don't find his body later. But um, I guess we'll see what happens here too. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.